everyone welcome back to another episode of the eco zoo at planet zoo uh, last episode we went ahead and built the lemur habitat we adopted two ringtail lemurs um, and as you can see this is what we've got to work with so far with our little viewing dome there so this episode we're going to do a little bit of maintenance we're going to work on getting our finances up i would like to get some more um, conservation credits as well. Um, let's go ahead and let's find our lemurs here. We have Mahafali and Len Lenitra. I probably, oh my goodness, oh she is expecting. If you do have any name uh, suggestions, please comment them down below. We'll start getting them put in, but this little female here is expecting some offspring. And as soon as that offspring is born and grown up, we'll be able to hopefully get things going. Oh, I just realized there's a little... There is a little gap right there. Doesn't say they can escape it, so we'll go ahead and we'll just keep an eye on it for now. But let's go ahead, let's take a look. Um and see what other animals we could get in the meantime. All right, let's go. All right, let's reset all of our filters and we are going to search by endangered, critically endangered and extinct in the wild. And I do want, oh, I would like to get an axolotl. Those things are so cool. And if anybody plays Minecraft, um, I, for one, am a big fan of Minecraft, but they just, axolotls are just perfect. And look how cute he is. Let's see if there's any, let's see if there's any available. There are. They are a little expensive. That male's fertility is very low. Definitely get that female because that female has a higher fertility. And we'll keep checking on a male. And we did complete some vet research for our ring-tailed lemurs. So let's go ahead and see what other types of enrichments they need. So they do need some more toy enrichment. Let's take a look and see what we got. We're going to filter here by our ring-tailed lemur. Oh, we got a black frozen fruit. Let's go to toys. Oh, and we got the sprinkler. Perfect. Let's get rid of that. Let's put this. Oh, look at that. I, just, I really want to just quickly just plop this down somewhere. that those people are probably so happy so close oh that is so cool all right so we placed the sprinkler down uh temporarily right here but you know i don't mind it i think that'll be good right there oh my goodness look at them Look at how cute they are. All right, toy enrichment could still do a little bit better, but I don't think we have, yeah, we have everything out that we could possibly have right now. All right. And then they're, look at them eating. Definitely gonna have to upgrade their food at some point. How cool is that? If there were anybody in there, they'd be able to get a first view of sitting there up close watching them eat. Alright, so I'm going to definitely have another um, exhibit, or not exhibit, habitat over here. And I think I want to bring this central path down and build some sort of um, exhibit dome, maybe. Um, I think that that would work. We don't have a whole lot of money. Oh. 
Uh, let's see. Ticket price is fair, so we could do better with that. But money is still going up, so I'm going to go ahead and let this play. And I'm going to see if I can build some sort of dome-shaped building that we can use for our exhibit hall. Well, it does look like we got some more vet research complete on lemurs as well. Where are we with our conservation theme? We are almost there. I really want to get some scenery. Oh, excuse me. I want to get some scenery. But it is taking an awful long time. Alright, let's get back to here. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and use some plaster. Um, and we're just going to say that this plaster is natural, the finishes on it is eco-friendly, um, and that they're made mainly of materials that are available in nature, which require very little processing. And I think this is what we're going to use um, to start building our little reptile dome house that we have going. So I see it is starting to snow, so I do want to stop for a second and make sure that, oh, we're about to have an offspring. I wanted to check and make sure they weren't getting too cold, but I really want to see them have some babies. Oh, and right in front of the viewing dome, that would be pretty cool. How many are we going to have? All right, so she still hasn't had the offspring yet, but I do see that it is too cold. So we do need to correct that really quick. We need to get some furnaces or some heaters pretty quickly. Um, so let's place one maybe here. And what is the radius at? All right, and while that is warming up, we're going to go ahead and just duplicate it. And we're going to put another one right down here, I think. And then we'll see where we need to add more. But I'm pretty sure that she's going to have her offspring. So, And I'm wondering if the cold is messing with everything. So let's take a look and see. Alright, well I'm going to go back to building, and maybe by the time I'm done, she'll have had the offspring, and we can jump back in and see how many she's had, because I just don't see her given any. Oh, there we go! 
Oh, look at, look at the baby. Look at the little baby, just one. Uh, see what his name is? This is Manantina. And I do want to check and just make sure for him that there are no, or her, sorry, that there are no escapable points. And I am not seeing any, so I think we are good. But here we have our first official baby born in the zoo. Look at her running around. She is so cute. Oh. A little bit of floating, but that's all right. <laughs> Look at her run. She's just so happy. All right, well, I'm going to jump back in and try and get our exhibit build done. I do see we got some mechanic research complete, meaning we've unlocked some of our content conservation theme and our vet research we have also unlocked the ring more of the ring-tailed lemur so while we're here let's go see what other um toys we could have unlocked oh i'm not a huge fan of the boxes we need them so we'll go ahead and place them and then maybe we could place this one somewhere over here where they can play with it. I don't want a line to surface. There we go. There, now we are looking fantastic. And we also needed to check and see if any more axolotls have come available. A male, he's good. We're going to go ahead and take them. And we'll leave them there for now. Actually, no, I'm going to move them over to, yeah, you can't put them in quarantine. Okay, never mind. Grab this conservation credit for Melissa Davidson. Thank you so much for stopping in. And we're going to get back to the build.
Alright, so we got our axolotls in here. Let's uh, see if we can figure out where they're at. Gotta be in there somewhere. There's one right down there. There's one. Look at how cute he is. Alright, so let's fix the humidity. It needs to be a lot higher. So let's get that going. And while that's adjusting, I'm going to have our vet stop the lemur research and start doing some on the axolotl. And we are going to get some education boards in here. Let's go ahead and get those just in the right position. And we're going to change that to the axolotl. And we're going to duplicate that, turn off the position snap, and snap rotation. And we're going to lower that one down. And rotate that. And lower that one. And then one more on this side. So let's go and get this adjusted just right here. And there. All right, and there we are. So here is the domes that I've created. I've got enough for three areas here. And then eventually when we expand, we'll have exits coming out this way, as well as this way to kind of tour through the rest of the zoo. So when they come in, they go in here, they check out this one, and then they have to go through the exhibits to expand off onto different areas, different parts of the zoo. You're still not in your ideal humidity, huh? Alright, let's see. How far off are we? So... Changed the wrong one. That was completely my fault. Let's do 65. Make sure we've got this all in the right area. Alright, there we go. Ugh, protesters need to leave. Oh no, there's nothing to protest. He's in its, they're in their fine humidity. And we're gonna set this up so there's one male and one female. And we are going to... store in the trade center and we'll turn on management now are you gonna leave Yeah, looks like they're on their way out. Perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna spruce this up here a little bit. Some more plants in. A couple of small ferns. Just make it look really nice and inviting. Oh, that looks a little bit better. So there we have it, our domes. Let me know what other exhibit species you would like to see. 
I absolutely love the axolotl. I think they are very cute and very unique. Oh, there he is. Right there, swimming around. The other one's still just hanging out down there. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know down below what you would like to see in the zoo coming up. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help my channel. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one.